President Trump says top Democrat Party officials have colluded with corrupt Russian officials for years. One America's Christian Rose examines the claims. This was all about Russia, Russia, Russia. They don't talk about Russia anymore because it turned out to be a hoax. President Trump gives a fiery response to Robert Mueller's resignation statement, exposing the corruption ties between Democrats and the Kremlin. Talking to reporters on White House lawn Thursday, the president said Russia did not help him get elected. Instead, corrupt Russian officials worked with the Democrat establishment to protect their mutually beneficial money laundering schemes in the U.S. and worldwide. You take a look at collusion between Hillary Clinton and Russia. She had more to do in the campaign with Russia than I did. I had nothing to do. For almost eight years, the Obama administration, including Hillary Clinton, enjoyed friendly relations with top Russian oligarchs. Reports claim in the early 2010s, Clinton accepted generous donations from the Kremlin to help the Russian state-run company Rosatom acquire U.S. company Uranium One. Other reports suggest back in 2008, Russian oligarch Oleg Deripaska gave as much as $1 million to the Clinton Foundation to secure bailout of carmaker GM, although the deal fell through. Not to mention Bill Clinton's speeches in Russia and Joe Biden's alleged corruption schemes in Ukraine, exposed by the Hill's John Solomon. And I think in the end, I will consider what's happening now to be one of my greatest achievements, exposing this corruption. The Obama administration also actively opposed the Magnitsky Act, passed by Republican Congress in 2012 to blacklist the most abusive and corrupt allies of the Kremlin. Russia's political opposition welcomed the Magnitsky Act, while one of the bill's authors, Bill Browder, said Hillary Clinton and John Kerry were not happy. Neither was the Kremlin. But if you're a Russian um, government official that's involved in high crimes, if you're involved in those things, you do that stuff so you can get money, and you don't want to keep your money in Russia because you know how e easy it is to steal because you just stole it really easily from somebody else. And so what do you do? You want to get that money outside of Russia as quickly as possible into as safe a place as possible, into a place like the United Kingdom or Switzerland or New York. President Trump said the Obama-era FBI, CIA and DOJ conspired to prevent his election in 2016. The effort, he believes, was to secure a transition of power from Obama to Clinton and protect the system of corruption, government dysfunction and abuse of authority for personal gain. And many believe all of these things will find their proof in the upcoming report by DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz. In other words, should Hillary Clinton lose, we've got an insurance policy. Guess what? What we're in right now is the insurance policy. I've exposed corruption. I've exposed corruption like nobody knew existed. Congressional Democrats continue to push for impeachment, but the narratives of collusion and obstruction appear to be falling apart by the hour. Meanwhile, the debunked Russia hoax is widely expected to go down in history as a failed attempt to discredit the U.S. president, Republican Party and the Russian people. It was nothing to do with Russia. The whole thing is a scam. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.